Well, to your hands. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. First serve, 216 kilometers. This is like watching uh, Lennox Lewis, the heavyweight champion, against one of the Klitschko brothers. These are two impressive physical specimens. Welcome to the fast line. 209. That's out wide. Well, you don't normally generate as much pace. And he's excited, and he's showing it, going after his serve. So, love opening game for Roddick. This is what Roddick had to say about Saffron and where he's at at the moment. Absolutely, but I don't think if you ask the players it was ever in doubt that he would get back, you know, or get back fast. You know, he's, he's got the game. He's, his talent didn't go anywhere. He just, he was injured. You know, it's as simple as that. He's still, he's still one of the, one of the top guys despite, despite his ranking. Well, I agree with that. He did not... He had a pull out here. Remember in the third round last year, did not play the French, Wimbledon, or the U.S. Open. Tough, tough year for Saffin. Pulled out against Schuttler too, John. He went on to make the final last year. Well, it's going to be tough for Schuttler this year. They're going to be after him. Look what happened here. Career year. Lost the first round. Went to get into the finals. He's got to play through the nerves here, Saf, and he hasn't been in a big occasion for a while, a match of this magnitude. He's edgy. He just, he's not quite sure what to do with Roddick. Help to get some easy points with that serve. Feel and I'll agree with him, and he has a better backhand than Andy. He's going to have to attack that shot. If he could get him to trade backhands, he'd be in good shape. Knows a thing or two about pace himself. That at 206.
to be more aggressive on that volley. He gave Roddick another chance, and he just was all over this forehand. Look where he hit that volley from, behind the service line. He's got his feet moving. He's looking sluggish out there so far. in the open service game for Seffen. Roddick with the break. I'll tell you one thing you there notice you with Roddick, though, his back end is improving. He's a better shot. He's letting it go more. That hitch that he's had most of his career, Brad Gilbert, and he have worked hard on to eliminate. Brad worked so many years with Andre Agassi. That's, that's a picture-perfect stroke to try to emulate. Study the tape of his back end. It doesn't look so far that Safin truly believes he can beat Roddick. He's just out there at the moment. He needs to change his attitude. He just... the last thing he wanted was to get off to this slow start after all the tennis he's played. Hasn't dropped a point on serve. Roddick gets three love in a hurry. Four tough matches to get here. Oh. But it looks more mental than anything else at the moment. This is a horrible start for Marit, who does play on emotion, and he can get frustrated. He can let his feelings interfere with his best performance. Staying down low to the ball, finishing his stroke. It's got to be giving him a little confidence. It's a great shot. He's talented, improvised that ball. Does that get rid of the nerves, John? A couple of shots like that in, in a row, do you need a bit more time? He needs a little bit more time, but first things first, hold here. Just, if he could start making some type of dent on Andy's serve, that'll boost him emotionally. Oh. 
His backhand, which is normally reliable, is to blame for the opening break with two unforced errors from Juice. That's what's worrisome, to see him miss as many backhands as he has already. But he's on the board. It's 3-1 in the opening set. Both these players have won 11 tournaments in their careers in one Grand Slam. They share that US Open as their slam. Roddick winning six last year. First point one against the Roddick serve tonight. Literally the first shot that Andy's pressed on in the entire match. from the back of the court. Safin upping the tempo. Roddick wanting to stand toe to toe, not going to take a backward step. He was a little bit concerned about this call. Certainly a very, very close call. Yeah, that looked long, but called in. Maybe caught the back of the line. Well, let's, get Hawk, little, let's get Hawk uh, out of work. It did catch the back of the line. A little bit overconfident here. He stopped playing while the ball was in the air. Thought it was going long. There was nothing he could have done about that return. Too good. Well, when Saffin was onto that, he wanted to impose himself. He gave it a rip. He's still got a break point here. This would turn things around. Oh, oh that is phenomenal. If you understand the statistic, where Roddick leads the tour, you'd understand the last two points. He wins 69% of the time when he's down break point. Well, it was a well-struck ball. The problem was is that he hit it right back to Roddick. Oh! It was an improvised volley that Andy probably wouldn't have been able to produce a year or two ago. Showed good racket work and controlled the ball under pressure. But Roddick uh, holds serve after surviving two break points. 4 1. Oh. It lumbers around the court. I love the way he walks around there.
He'd be well off to take a little bit more time between first and second serves. He does have a tendency to rush. It's because he's Russian. You'll get used to it, Mac. Well, Mac, you'll get used to it. No comment. Andy's career has progressed rapidly. He started to find angles, a la Andre Agassi. That's a nice little addition to the repertoire. It's not quite at Andre's level yet, but he's certainly working on it. So Froddick's at the top of the tree service-wise. When Saffron's serving well, is he in the absolute top echelon? I believe so. He's got a nice, easy motion. Certainly his first serve is very imposing. It's going to drop in. Well, seen some real variety off the backhand tonight already. Well disguised, waiting for Safin to commit himself close to the net. So the double break. So his second serve, though, is not a weapon. He has a tendency to just kick it in, takes a lot off it, gives Roddick a chance to line it up. And still, after that little burst there where he held and almost broke, he's, he's lost his way again. He's still has not really found a comfort level. Roddick dominated at 5-1. He's playing at the top of his game. Excellent first set. He decided to hit that. It looked like it was going long. Well, this is going to test his ability to survive break points. He's facing three. And uh, this was just it an aberration. Like it was going two, three feet long. And he's astounded at his action of 40. believe you're capable of hitting a ball harder than that and that is the fastest forehand of this championship 171 well there's a surprise and seven breaks but it's 5-2 better than the alternative it is if he holds here if he doesn't it isn't then Roddick will start serving the next set Love that. 
15. And there's strange misses off the backhand. It's not as if he's forcing and missing through trying for too much. That's his reliable backhand. A bit of topspin, but he's hit it into the net time and again. has not been there for him. He's, he doesn't have the bounce that he no, needs that to beat Erotic at the moment. Maybe those matches have caught up to him. The emotions mentally just haven't not been there for a while. He just cannot turn it on. Erotic looks the quicker the two players out there. No doubt. How's that for a return? So I'm saying I'm not sure it was even a benefit he broke surf. Three set points for Roddick. That's an in your face. Oh, oh boy. Please stop that. 6 2 for the fifth time in this tournament. The opening set for Roddick. Opening game, second set, 15 love. What a weird ending to that first set. Don't need another groin strain out here tonight. Boy. He is firing. Intimidation. He's up there. Saffron, he just doesn't know what hit him. with a love game, so it's one love. points Marat's played out there tonight. Props well. Voids having to play the half volley and that backhand beautifully struck by Andy just catching the top of the net. Andy Roddick's record last year 72 and 19. Who do you think is better prepared tonight? John, after Roddick went with Gilbert after the French Open, Safin actually didn't win a match for the rest of the year after Barcelona, so he was 0-6 after Barcelona. Remember, Roddick went 27-1 and through the, Euro the um, American summer. So you're right, they're coming in off very different form bases.
And again, when he tries to play safe off his backhand, this time a one-handed slice, he catches the top of the net. Probably the safest ball he played all point. And as the trainer ready to come back with Peter Bellinger, the tournament referee. Future referees will have to have a medical certificate. sensing danger here trying to push Safi to keep in here they want to see some tennis The crowd feeling for Safin. They wanted to give him that point. No doubt it was a let. Safin has only won 15% of points on his second serve to this moment. Playing a little tight. Or well beyond the baseline, catching the top of the net. His clearance out of the net should have been closer to a meter from back there. Seven holds, and it's one all in the second set. by Mackers. here and he's gone off here these last three points real moment for Brad where he's not having conversation no one will sit near him anymore Sense the confidence level, the no, difference in confidence. And he just, when he's got some time, just lines up that four and absolutely destroys it. Safin may have the better backhand, but Andy possesses superior forehand, that's for sure. Saffin showing some life here early in the second set. Oh, 
This is unusual in itself because Andy has just romped through service game after service game in this year's championships. To have been broken, to have been down love 30 a couple of other times at 30 all now. with a flourish. Andy did well to just get this ball back, but it hit off the frame. Sappen just quick to take advantage here. He's got a great point. This would be big for him. Shot. Saw his opportunity, just hesitated, didn't quite get up to the bounce of the ball. The ball was too far away from him, got behind him, and just didn't have a chance to succeed with that shot. Interesting how conservative Andy was for much of that point. Break point down. Just starting to tighten up for the first time. Gipsy's trademark is on the backhand. That is certainly Murat's trademark, but the more yeah, impressive shot to good. me was that half volley that he followed it up with. That was a tough play that he did well with. Stayed with it, and he just certainly deserves this second break point. That's, that's, that's. Second time in three service games, he breaks Roddick, and we do have a match. That was by far the best game he played in this match. So just when he needed it. to follow up that game with a strong game on serve now. Really give Andy something to think about. Backhand with much more authority now. Confidence seems to be growing. Maybe the month or six weeks of training he did at Monte Carlo right at the end of the year, running those hills, has paid off. He seems to be getting a second win or at least a good first one here, finally. Thirteen. 
somebody <laughs> doing it for Merritt, I think. I think that was him. <laughs> Wasn't that him? I think it might have been a friend in the crowd. Just get, getting rid of it all for him. He served that one and he seemed to throw the ball a little back over his head, indicating he's going to go for another slightly kicked ball into the backhand, but slid it down the centre. He simply did not expect that return to come back. He wasn't prepared to hit a volley. J.A. talked about, and it's 3-1. Tip-top tennis trivia. Boys, when was the last time the current U.S. Open men's champion went on to win the Australian Open? So, in other words, I guess when's the last... Well, no, not necessarily, but when is the man that's won the U.S. won the Australian, so you've had to win two slams in a row. Remembering in the last two years, we've had eight different men win the eight grand slams. 1-3, second set. Good to have Bruce here. He's got so much information. <laughs> Bunch of font of well, information. Got to come prepared, John, when I'm sitting with the legend and John McEnroe in the box. Well, my first guess, I'd start working it out by thinking that Andre's won the Australian four times. He's won the US, so he'd have to be at the top of the list, even if it's just alphabetical order. He's got to have had a chance. Certainly not him, his number one rival all through the years. Pistol Pete Sampras, he had a bit of success here and there. Safin having a bit of success too on the first serve against Roddick, seeing it well. It's incredible that statistic you just uh, pointed out. He's winning 57% of the points when his first serve goes in. He's winning 75% of the time when his second ball goes into play. I'll tell you, ever since Safin took that injury timeout, he's been a different player. Well, he got, uh, he got Andy's, Andy's uh, hopes up. He thought he might have been in for an That's, early night. That may be exactly right. Put his jacket on. He looked across. Sorry, he's cooling down. I'll start again now. He's mumbling to himself now. And Safin's got in his head. He, he does not look as comfortable. And now, down 15.40, he has been unchallenged on serve. It's a surprising turnaround. But in the interest of a great match, a good one. Boy, that was a strange point. He just groveled the ball back. It was so deep. The crowd expecting a call. But our dear friend Hawkeye says that it just got the outside edge of the line. So great umpiring again. Oh, come on. <laughs> you are unbelievable. <laughs> i got a cousin who's a linesman. The problem with Saffin was that he watched his return and didn't get back in position. He never quite made up for it. Well, that statistic of Roddick's holding true. Winning 69% of break points that he faces last season. And although 
know the scoreboard probably has Roddick in the lead, 6-2, trailing 1-3. Safin has had eight break points. Roddick only four. The only difference is that Roddick won three out of four, Safin two out of eight. And he's getting a little frustrated. Back to Juice, Safin attacking. Penetrating for him. Heavy ball, isn't it? Beautiful blend of power and topspin. He's a tremendous athlete. There's no doubt about that. It's one of the great differences in the modern game that there's players who are six foot three, six foot four, six foot five who can move, who can hit ground <laughs> strokes and serve. How tall are you, John? Six foot three, but sort of statuesque. Not much movement detected. Yeah, Hangs on, Roddick. Needed two. It's three, two, seven. It's more match tough. Competition hardened through all of the matches he played. And all the success that he had last year. Marat trying to rebuild. This is his first serve. He's got a problem. He's only getting 53% of first serves in. He's only winning 28% of the time when his first serve misses. Well, he chooses to kick his second serve, and there's not nearly as much on it as, as Andy Roddick's. He, he rarely varies it. He just kicks it into the backhand virtually every time. Some serious racket speed to get that ball to drop down in the court just in the nick of time. It was good hustle, too, and footwork. Saffin feel awful good. He's had to be close to a 20 shot rally. It's very well placed. It's going well. 2 4. Okay. That trivia question, you guys are right on the money, I think. Who was the, when was the last time the current US Open men's champion won the Australian Open? Stick with your convictions, I reckon, John. Start. Well, the odds would be with... with Agassi. That'll do. Give us the answer. And the year would have been... Let me think about that. We won the Open in 90... 
nine, I believe. So it must have been with anyone the Australian of 2000. That's it. Well done. Pete's done it as well. But Andre's the last. Actually, Roy Emerson did it too. Well, Roy Emerson did an awful lot. Sorry? Second only to Pete Sampras yeah, in total number of Grand Slams won. All won in the amateur era prior to open tennis, which began in 68. That was clearly in. Ragged on the forehand. Call. I don't think he liked the shot. Let's see. Very good reason why he didn't like the call because uh, hard to argue from 78 feet away, but uh, it did appear to hit the line. So much for your umpires uh, not missing. It's two of this game. Even the greats miss the odd one. <laughs> Just looks unsettled. The stage in the second set he really had the run of the match through the first set. And holds to 15, but uh, seconds two with this break. It's 4 3 in the second. A 4 2 Saffron, good strong point to start. 4 3, I should say, with the break in this second set. Great combination of shot. The sliding serve taking Roddick out of court, followed up with the backhand across court. Roddick forced to go with one hand. Saffron moved in, closed in as he hit the volley from right on top of the net, putting the point. Well, it was smart. In contention. As soon as he saw Andy go to the one handed backhand, in he attacked, went towards the net, finished that off nicely. Trying to unload, but got too much of the ball. Needs easy game on serve. Gets it three five five three now. Have Merritt go with uh, Nicole Ritchie and uh, Paris Hilton. Do you reckon in Arkansas the simple life? I think they'd be willing to do a. Uh, a show in Moscow. <laughs> but they if were, he was there. They were in Team Saffin a few years ago. I knew where I'd seen them before. <laughs> Team Saffin on the side of the court. Well, simple life. We're looking forward to that with that. Paris Hilton and Nicole Ritchie. Saffin 5-3 well, here. Very important for the development of those girls to have balance in life. And when you've had the city lights and champagne, you've got to get out to the farm. Oh. Got to get a little dirt under your fingernails. Tight 
tell you, he's a totally different player now. Both of them. Saffin, the one with the confidence. He's Saw his mum there, Raza. She coached him from the age of 6 to 13. John Winagasi spoke to you after the match. He felt that uh, Saffin had the ability to get into to Roddick's game, didn't he? Well, I think we all knew that. The question is, did he have the energy to do it? And can he keep this up? He also thought that Taylor Dent was going to roll him. <laughs> Certainly got Andy Roddick talking to himself right now. And that finally, final backhand, the previous point, followed up by double fault. Neither racked with confidence. shaking his head and erotic shaking his head it was momentarily but it was just a feeling of resignation there about both Gilbert and Roddick and there's three set points here Roddick hasn't dropped a set at the Australian Open to 12 12 again, two first serves in, saving two break points. First serve. First serve. It's in. Decided not to play it. Saffin gets the first set off Roddick at this Australian Open. It's one set apiece. a piece here with uh, Saffin charging back against Roddick. He's broken him three times in the last six service games. And as we start this third set, Saffin serving opening point. He wins. It's 15 love. See the time in the background. They've been playing for about 70 minutes. See you though. Roddick can't believe it, but I think he knows it was in. He just did not think that ball was going to drop into the court.
And again, I think it's more important for Safin to get off a good start here. He has a lot of tennis under his belt. He doesn't want to let Roddick get on a run now. That's a good way to do it. It's only his third ace, but he came at a good time. That was quick, 209. Let's have a look at the highlights of the second set. What a turnaround in this match. Just when it appeared it would be a short one, Safin calling for the trainer. He suddenly comes alive and plays some fantastic tennis, particularly at net. And you see the athlete that he is and what he is capable of when he plays his best. And the crowd loving the fact that he's leveled this match as we look at the second set stats. Turnaround after the first set, enormous percentage for Safin, winning 82% of the time when his first ball goes in. Four, five forehand winners, eight points, one at the net versus three for Roddick. This is heavyweight tennis. This is fun now. Beautiful to watch. Safin's rhythm from the back of the court is found, and he's doing it easy. A complete player. He's had an excellent day at net. 13 out of 17 points now. And that has gotten him right back in this match. With a sense of humor. And this is where Merritt is returning the first and the second balls. Very much directed to the backhand of Andy Roddick, midcourt and backhand. Just a few balls coming short off the first serve of Andy's. To work on direction. his direction. Mm. <laughs> Maybe he's asking the coach for some direction. Over the net. I would have thought height was the problem, and yes. It's going to drop in. Safin looks like he's behind those billboards. He's so far back. Roddick staying in the backhand corner, leaving the line open, and Safin is charged. Come on. Come on. 2 12. And he's not backing off. I don't think he knows the meaning of the word. <laughs> Oh, he's caught him. And holds. What a struggle. It's one of Murat's going to take a little heat in the locker room for letting 
That serve hit him behind the baseline. Right in the gut. <laughs> Luckier than Daniel Nesta was in doubles the other day. Meaningful exchange from the back of the court that Andy's won for some time. Twenty six shots in that rally. doing the right thing he seems just committed to trying to beat him from the back of the court raising the level of his game without necessarily changing it well, depending on how fit he is how hard he's worked he should have an edge there if he could keep up this pace Safin may wear down but it's a, it's a risky move Safin is in the flow now playing some great tennis out there Some of these points he should attack and take the initiative at net, which he hasn't done the way Safin has. Principal difference between the two at the moment. He let that second serve Australian kick get up too high on him. Safin buried him. Andy has won four out of five points when he's gone to net. Merritt, 13 out of 17. Holding comfortably at the moment, Safin. Big ace there. It's 2 1. Just not happy, Merritt. Holding it up. Now, Andy to serve. Just wants the crowd to settle down a bit. Well, there's Andy showing some excellent net play. For as big a hitter as he is, he showed some beautiful touch. Interesting approach shot. It was really floated with a bit of slice towards the back of the court, not really a penetrating shot. Thank you. 
for Roddick, to all. Deal or no deal is back. New format though, combining up with Wheel of Fortune between five and six on Monday to Fridays. Andrew O'Keefe, our host. So Andrew's at the tennis here tonight. Looking forward to that series return. Million dollars up for grabs each week. $200,000 a night. Likes his tennis. And he'd be liking this contest. This is a match that's... Uh, on the knife edge right now, to all. That's nice play from start to finish, Roddick. It all started with that return where he stepped inside the baseline. Did not let that kick serve get up too high, and he controlled the point from there. He's starting to come into net, like we suggested, and he's continuing to have success when he does so. He's a much improved volleyer over what he was when he first came on the tour. The legs are feeling okay, thankfully. Got the flexibility. <laughs> Saffron's turn to show his feel up at net. So casual with that last volley. You open the face of the racket just at the right moment. You see, gently guided over the net. Had a great drop volley, that one. And he was way beyond the baseline, managed to get to it, and then Merritt just. I didn't casual. need to hit a great one, though. So got the job done. As he saw that Roddick was off the court. Ace is mounting a bit. He's up to six, the same as Roddick now. Couple in this game. Still lowish numbers for these two at this point. Oh. Nice. Lovely touch from the big man. And it's three two. Roddick's bread and butter, the big serve followed by the forehand winner. Never been anyone in the history of the game that's had as much pace on his serve and then followed up with the lethal forehand the way Andy does now. One sixty seven K second ball, but it's also got work on it. That's the thing. It's safe. He can vary it. His percentage of points one on the second serve is the tour leader. So consecutive love games for Roddick here on serve. 
So three all. A critical moment in that second set. This provided Saffin with three set points at 5-3 against the Roddick. So, and Andy just looked a little dejected. Brad looked a little resigned at the moment, that stage. But Saffin took the set, but Roddick coming back strongly again now. Brad Gilbert has been shaking his head several occasions tonight. Nodding oh, there. The Look at the net cord. Oh. Two ways. Not only did he get lucky, but Safin expended some energy trying to track it down and lost a point. penetrate once again. 153 off the deck for Roddy. It's the first time he's had Safin at Love 30 or any sort of an advantage on his serve for a long time. Excited there. Looked like he was doing some double knee jumps. Remember those from Harry, the Hartman Harry days? Told you about those. <laughs> One of the exercises he created with Stan Nichols, who was the person involved in the development of so many of Harry's great players. Stretch from Frank Sedgman and Ken McGregor through Hoden Rosewell through to Newcomb and Roach. Saffron starting to hit the winner. Just simply bring the knees to the chest. Start thumping the chest. You set to 20 or 30 for a couple hours. You're all set. Right up on this one, taking the ball early and ripping it back across court. He's got some deep confidence now. To go for that shot at 15.30. Oh. You've got some confidence to go for that ball. Yeah, it's a little overconfident. It's unnecessary from that position. He's easily 10 feet behind the baseline. Even at his level, that's a tough proposition. He's hanging tough, isn't he, Seth? And it's 4 3 now. And break now. He's uh, pretty deadly at this stage, so it's 3 4. Roddick with the balls. He's got a real air of confidence though, hasn't he? I mean, 3-4 to set all. He's really being tested and starts the game with an ace. They both do. That's what's making this match so entertaining now. Since Saffin's believing, found his comfort level. It's become quite the match. And the one that we hope for. I thought it was interesting when Marrett mishit the return of serve, he charged back about four meters beyond the baseline. It's extreme defensive position. He put up an excellent lob, but he needed to move forward, get back towards the baseline, but didn't do so. Oh! 
It's the first point Saffron's won against Erotic Serve in the last three service games. They've been Love Love and 40 Love to that point. about this match. I mean, Federer had played Hewitt ten times before last night. This is really the first clash between these two. I mean, they played in LA a long time ago. Staffan is... counts that. <laughs> Absolutely. But <laughs> this is their first really big match, isn't it? They're finding out a bit about one another. Well, I'm going to find out a lot more before this set is out the because it's a real hour. battle of wills. Did you actually break someone down in your mind when you haven't played them? You got to this point, or are you just in a zone and just playing your own game? Were you working both, them out? Both. And you're definitely believing in your own game, then that's going to do the trick. But you need to be prepared, and certainly you're dreaming about these moments. Both of them. These are former, uh, current and former number one players in the world. I was always very aware if I thought someone was lucky to get weak at a critical stage and also very aware of that we're going to remain tough <laughs> because that's the only, the only way of them winning is to play better tennis. San Francisco's count up to be served five in this set. Well, a couple of games to go, but we could be on our way to a tie break. Not many points against the serve right now. Married have more trouble. I think deep down Andy Roddick expected a challenge. I think deep down he wanted a challenge. See what he was made of. Finishing last year at number one because people have talked about, well, what if Safin was healthy? Are you getting an indication of how good Safin is in case you had forgotten? Second serve, 174. It's unusual how close his feet remain together when he serves. He uses his legs extremely well to get some of that incredible power. Snaps his wrist, turns those hips. It's amazing how hard he hits his serve. Consistently. Oh. Now it's so far beyond the baseline. Assuming that extreme defensive position when Ruddock was going to attack. I think it's critical for Safin to win this third set, even more than Roddick. He's put out so much more physically in this tournament. Yeah, she get the feeling if Andy were to go down two sets to one, he'd still hold an excellent chance, but uh, maybe not if it goes the other way. Oh, Marit. We're not far from finding out one way or the other at 5 all in this third set. Safin, last time he was in a quarter final was at Roland Garros in 2002. He missed three Grand Slams last year, only playing the Australian and then having to not play in the third round. Oh. Oh, 
Cathedral. That's a good overall there. Well inside the line. Jerry Armstrong. Very experienced umpire from England. Trains in the gym every day when he's in Melbourne. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Yeah, right. Well, I've seen him there every day, John. Yeah. As I've walked by. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Should be training their eyes, right? And that was one of those missed opportunities. Had Marat followed that serve in, it would have made for an easy volley. Well, he's not a natural serve volleyer. So. Would have been a good time to try it, though, at 30 love up. get farther and farther behind that baseline. And it's got to be a concern for him. Going against Marat. He was in trouble. A couple of times, and he's been caught with the offensive lob as he's come towards the net. 14, How good does that feel after a long, hard fought rally? Now pumping his chest. Did well, didn't he, Seven? It's 6 5. Oh. Oh. Got a little lucky there, Morad. Stay in that point. It was a loose play by Roddick to lose it. Miss hit return and clip the tape. Now a real chance for Marat at love 30. Love 30. And there's the chance to come in measured, not overly aggressive. And Andy wild on the attempted pass. That was an excellent time to approach the net. Make him hit a backhand passing shot. Oh. He'd like that one back. 15, 15. Man behind, coach in front. Mums here, Team Saffin isn't. Oh. And he did 
disgusted with that forehand. What do we have here? Couple of set points. 15, 14. So the world number one needs to dig deep again. Seven charge, he leads two sets to one. Oh. Well, for the first two and a half sets, and he just accepted the ball into his backhand and hit it back because every single one of Merritt's second serves has been directed to the backhand. Halfway through this last set, he started to move around, especially on the first court, and taking it on the forehand. Which opens up the play a bit. Maybe Marrett will uh, tweak to it and uh, put one out wide. He needs to step in and take it earlier. Like he was doing earlier in the match. The speed of Marrett's second serve is about 20k slower than Andy's. It's 132, that past one. Big kick. Put the kick like a Russian vodka. <laughs> You're familiar with that drink, are you, John? Very, very little. <laughs> My mom and dad enjoy it quite a bit. They kept me away from it. Drank it all themselves. He's up 40 love, just decided to go for a second serve ace. Down the center. Probably won't be matter one way or the other. I hate to lose a game if you pull the stunt like that, but nine times out of ten or even higher, he's going to win this game anyway. because it annoys your opponent when you go for an ace. And you look, it almost if you're treating them with some disdain. Highlights on the third set. The break coming in the final game. Well, this was the shot of the set, I believe, for Safin. And things were getting tight there at the end of the third. And this was set point. To Allow Safin to take a two sets to one lead. Roddick disgusted with himself. Look at that first serves in only 47% for Marriott, winning 80 as opposed to 76. More forehand winners, more backhand winners. Safin's scrambling and hustling way back behind the baseline. That's it. Features tonight has been how well Marit Safam has returned the Roddick serve. Sent it back with interest so many times. 
We saw Federer do that so well at the, in the semifinals of Wimbledon last year. And Safin is almost better off the first serve than the second. Just long, so that's one all at the start of this fourth set. Now, this includes what they've played so far tonight, talking about the freshness in the legs. Safin's played a whole lot more in this tournament. Almost double, certainly was over, it was about double when they came in. He's dropped five sets prior to tonight. He had that type of tournament when he won the US Open a couple of years ago, had played some, a couple of long five set matches and came back, but he just has not played a lot this past year. You wonder how much he's got. Well, reacting to that double fault. He's keyed up. Hit a tough passing shot. He's kept his call all night, hasn't he? I mean, the, that double fault was the first time in ages we've actually seen him cross with himself in this whole match. He's been on good terms with himself most of the night. He's used the energy of the crowd in a very positive way as, as well. The big man so, again showing some excellent touch. There wasn't a lot on this shot, so he had a couple choices. He made no mistake with that drop shot. Clearly a superior player off that backhand side. He is confident like he is now. He can hit winners from anywhere. Isn't he the big man? It's 2 1. That's one thing to do. Hit some big serves. John, you would have seen Roddick get out of some tight. Scraps, particularly the US Open last year. I mean, how does he normally do it? First things first is to hold the serve and sort of impose his will and his power. When you're playing a guy that's even taller than he is, it's easier said than done. He did it against Nalbandian last year. Now, Bandian is a great athlete, but he's not the physical specimen that Safin is. Who is? Saffin knows he sh should have done better with that top spin lob effort. He's got to take the net away from Saffin, too, just to be a little bit more aggressive, pick his spots. I think that would help him. No! 
And it's almost as if, and I'm the last guy that should be saying this, he's wearing his heart on his sleeves too much, so he's giving Safin confidence But what he's saying out loud. That he's questioning himself. chance now for Safin. Two sets to one up, two one up, break point. Unbelievable. Trying hard enough. Well, this is a rare moment because Andy has not been successful with the backhand pass since the first set. What an effort by Safin. Hang around. Lob forcing Roddick back where he couldn't even hit a bounce smash. That's dangerous play coming in to the Saffron forehand from beyond three quarter court. Yes. That is not a winning play. He had some good depth. It was hit flat. He just wasn't quite in position to volley the staff and able to snap it across court for a winner. is being more aggressive in attacking the net. Safin so far behind the baseline still should have done better there at least made Andy hit one more volley. Some blistering pace again on the ground strokes. Forehand mid uh, rally in the previous rally was 162.
see how good an athlete he is. A great athlete he is, Murat Safin. Andy trying everything, applauding the tennis of Marat Safin. Tough job to come in across court, even though he's got the angle. The line was left open. The angle's available across court. It's quality of the highest level here. Everything we had hoped for and more. The standard continues. It's three games to two now in the fourth. That's really let down Andy. His backhand passing shot. Marit has capitalized on it. He's come in to the backhand many times. Winning 76% of the time, 22 out of 29. To 11 is a phenomenal serve into the back end. See it in slow motion. Actually, it's hard to see it in fast motion. It's hard to see it in slow motion. <laughs> Forehand, fast, with topspin, deep. So Roddick holds the 30, it's 3 all. Roddick hasn't broken Saffin since the eighth game of the first set broken three times in that opening set first, first, first. Placement to good effect these first couple points. So I'll come back for Safin in this tournament, particularly this match. This is the best one of all. Same thing again. And he doesn't like this call, and with good reason. And Jerry defending the call. Saying it was touching the line. That's good eyes for Andy Roddick. So close. Andy really getting agitated. Everything seems to be going against him. Jerry Armstrong won't change. Saffin's got the lead on the board. Get with it, 
This shows you how good J.A. the player's eyes are. <laughs> well, you expect them to be good, but they've got a vested interest. He's come out smoking here. There was an exchange between Roddick and Jerry Armstrong in the break. We are looking for it right now, but he's come out with a couple of big serves. had run 17% further than Marrick. I think they're even there. Well, it holds to love something. Let's go back to what happened when Roddick sat down in this exchange with Jerry Armstrong after the ball had been called in. Yeah, yeah no shit, it looks close. I mean, thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> that look of disdain from Jerry. Well, Captain Obvious. It's good. I like that. <laughs> wish you'd thought of it, John. Yeah, I wish I had, yeah. <laughs> four all. It's got more than four letters, too. <laughs> Business end of the set now, and possibly the match. Safin leading two sets to one, four games all. angle from Andy Roddick here was just outstanding. And he surprised Saffin by going right back at him. It was a great effort just to get that ball back. It's absolutely incredible tennis these two are playing. Clearly in. Oh. Or clearly out. <laughs> clearly out by about 164th of an inch. <laughs> the aces have mounted to Saturn rapidly here. He's 16. Was it 15? My eyes. 15 to 14 in his favor. There were low numbers early on. They're building quite rapidly. comfort zone at 45 by serving in volley. Played a loose volley. Now that forehand clips the net. We're back to Deuce. Tense time now. You talked about his nerves at the start of the match, John. They might be a bit frayed right now. Tense forehand, that one. Both these players can get out of trouble with their serves. Oh, 
Just a great time to get a free point on serve right in the backhand corner at 203. serve at 211 and that's the one he needed to move in taking in the in the air he could have hit an overhead and that that is a difficult shot what in the world was he doing lifting his leg up it looked like he, that forehand had a chance Another 203 first serve hitting the mark. What a calculated distraction the way Merritt returned the first ball and he looked around at it. He was annoyed. Uh, Roddick is edgy out there. That wasn't uh, a little strong. Cross court and ended up hitting the forehand too flat, too high. Rada could hit it to the open side. Just hoping he could get that ball down a little lower. Good game for Andy, especially after he'd lost the opening point. Marat had a play at lot 15. Tightened up. Andy had the courage to come to the net. Is that still there for Saffin?
lost the first set. Trying rash yeah, drop shots good. when they simply weren't on and not even executing it well. And as well as he's hitting his back end, just, to me, no reason to even attempt a shot like that. As clean as he's been hitting the ball. And he's still up 30 15. Forehand, Prost allowed Roddick to get back in the point. And Roddick did the right thing, just made him hit another shot. Didn't put a lot on it, just kept it low. Tension time for both these players late in the fourth set. Height to good advantage there. Oh, Holds his nerve and he serves. It's six five now. to have that ball called long. After the lucky break on the first point for Andy, his confidence has lifted. Get ready for a four set tie break. Surprising how many times Merritt has returned the first serve. So deep and solid. to a fifth and Saffin to close it out. They've both got outstanding records in tie breaks in the course of their career. Not surprising. Roddick 78 and 49, which is a very high percentage. Saffin's 120 to 92, which is also not far off the mark behind Roddick. They're two of the best in the game. made him pay dearly. Yeah. 
Back off to a great start. It's only one break. He'd love one of the next two points, though, wouldn't he? To get to 4-1 on his serve. Disappointing way to end this set. Mom is suffering. Play as well as he's been playing. Yes, it's all just slipped away right here, losing the first five points. I'm not even sure that was going in. Someone called out just before he tried to make the impact on the smash. Done well, Roddick. Twice he had to hold serve to stay in the match. Six, zero, At four, five, and five, six, he was able to do it. And now, seemingly a, a serve away from a fifth set. Seven points to love the tie break. Decided edge for him. Oh, thank you. He shifted in a very short period of time in Roddick's favor. Well, that really wasn't a difficult forehand for Marat. Just could be getting a bit weary on court for two hours and 43 minutes. I'm amazed it hasn't happened sooner. Well, Andy's done more of the running, but Marit certainly has been asked to work hard every minute. Saffin wants to show Andy he's got something left. Still trying to work out there, but loses the game quickly. So the opening game, to Roddick. Let's have a look at these points in the tie break. Roddick just dominating here. It was that first forehand of the tie break that really set the tempo. It gave him some confidence. He relaxed a little, got a couple. Easy unforced errors from Safford, and it was over in a heartbeat. There's the percentages of the fourth set. Incredible 80% of first balls in for Andy, winning 81% of the time. Hard to beat somebody when they're scoring like that. Three forehand winners apiece. More points won at net for Andy than at Marriott. That's the first time tonight. Similar number of unforced errors. So that was the, the adjustment he made in that four set, and it helped him. Well, it looks to be the fresher of the two. 
Both got great records in five set matches. I mean, Roddick's four and two, but his last three wins have been really impressive all last year. And Safin's 16 and seven in five set matches. Which is a heck of a record. Roddick's two defeats have come to Australians in five set matches. Leighton Hewitt at the US Open in the quarterfinal in 2001. And then Wayne Arthur's in the opening round at the French in 2002. Generally, I've found that Australians have an advantage over Americans in five sets. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a good lead, John. So do you sit here, Mac, and impartially don't care who wins, or does the stars and stripes come out in the heart? Well, I was trying to remember a time when an American beat an Australian five sets. <laughs> Answer the question. No, the, the answer is, I, I'm a big Safin fan, but I mean, for as far as a, American tennis, it would be great to see that a, Agassi Roddick matchup. this stage of his career he'll ever Andre plays in a semi-final of the Grand Slam it's a big match but to see the current world's number one against Andre at this stage would be just magic I think Andy's been a real shot in the arm for our sport I mean, he's a very smart young man he's intelligent he seems to enjoy the position he's in He's got a comfort level with being number one, and he's a huge plus for our game. America's producing players again, aren't they? They've, uh, he's not alone. Marty Fish and uh, James Blake. How good does that feel? Well, it's been a while since he made a backhand pass up the line. Jesus. That's why you put the effort in just to get that ball back. Give yourself a chance. He looked to be out of that point on the return to serve. He should have made that forehand. Crowd sort of settling in, wondering if this is going to be another epic five-setter. Saving their energy, it appears, early in this fifth set. Maintain the momentum from the tiebreaker. That winner 151. He told himself to take a rip at it, and he did. Not too happy with the result. Like Brad Gilbert did during his career, and he enjoys giving a little running commentary, make our life a little easier. Just sit back and enjoy it. He might take your place in about 15 years in the box. He certainly he's capable of it if he wants to.
And Saffin holds. John, you've picked out J.A. a critical moment that uh, Roddick just made Saffin work hard here. Yes, this is when Saffin was just absolutely desperate to go ahead. He threw himself horizontally at the ball, got up, just couldn't make the effort. And Roddick produced the goods when it counted. Wasn't that break point to go up a break in the fourth? I think you're correct. That truly was a, the critical moment. We nailed that one. Now one all in the fifth. Try to hit it too hard. Well, there's just been a little flashiness from uh, time to time for Andy, and this was unnecessary. The great Formula One champion from Australia, Jack Brabham, long before your time, said you never drive faster than what you need to. He picks himself up. Conservative on the return and paying the price. And so often during this match, he's returned so solidly, but that one just over the service line allowed Andy to get around lots of time, plant his feet, and unload. That's his slowest first serve of the night, 159. I'm not sure if that's an advantage, though, because if he was serving first and he got the break, the match would be over. He wouldn't have to serve. And as we saw last year in the quarterfinals, no tiebreak, fifth set. No end in sight for Safin unless he does break. Bad second serve, 117. Just framed it a little bit. He's got the physical issue to deal with. The fact that he played such a poor tiebreaker still weighing on his mind. Yeah, it's stacked against, against Murat right now. wonder an error like that an unforced error whether that's coming out of fatigue coming up to three hours with the call but it was long and 
There's verification from Hawkeye. Just about a ball length. You can see when you change the angle, which explains some of the umpire's decisions, it can look very different. Tape it totally, totally changed where Murat thought the ball was going. And he just couldn't get himself quickly enough back into position. This is could be it for Murat if he loses his, this point. First time Roddick's had a break point against him since the opening set on the Saffron serve. Switch the direction to the forehand of Andy. Jesus. Staff is digging deep in the well here. Good for him. And on to Solid and confident up at net. He can intimidate, can't he? He's such a big unit, Stefan. This is Andre Agassi. These two guys are beating up on each other and he played a set and a half. Just chomping at the bit, waiting to play Thursday night. And his other four matches didn't take too long either. And looking good for the veteran. Roddick just sensing a chance here, isn't he? He's really wanting to break here. Sporting in hanging out good serve. And it's a tense battle. As Leighton Hewitt was so complimentary towards his opponent last night, something he rarely gets credit for. Oh. Hold on, well. So still early stages in this fifth set. Just trying desperately to stay in this point. Roddick pulled him too far, far off the court there. Follows it up with one of his patented bombs up the middle. That's it. Ah, keep the ball.
Marant's just dragging a little bit. He's lost a step. Just over three hours now, three hours and three minutes. So he lost two points in his three service games in this set, Roddick. It's three games to two. stuff. More than appreciative is the crowd of Safin's effort here as he continues to try to dig deep, deeper and deeper into the well he goes. tonight very few passing shots coming unforced errors from the back of the court occasionally dropping it short and leaving himself vulnerable to attack it's been his liability liability jay ever since he came on the tour he's working hard to improve it no. No. They, uh, andy thought it was good too and uh, that's a, that is a good sporting gesture from Ryan. I mean, giving giving Marat that call. That is an incredible gesture. Well, we saw his sportsmanship last year with Ellen Alley. Apparently the linesman changed their call. So maybe not quite as sporting, but he was very willing to go along yeah. with the change of the call, knowing it was in. He made it clear he thought it was in. And Safra needed that, didn't he? He'd had a lot of points against his serve in this set. He needed an easy service game. He may now be able to attack Roddick. Well, after the break, sitting down on the change of ends, he came out a little fresh at that game. An easy game, and maybe that'll just uh, give him the break that he needs physically to really attack the erotic serve, but it looks more and more that physically it's just about beyond him to be able to break the erotic serve. And with no tiebreakers, the only way he can win this match is to get that break somehow. Where's the thunderstorm that was predicted? 18 aces apiece. Safin served very well at critical times in this match. to hit it and the rule is if you can hit it and you've got an open court why not 
13-15. Try to hit a good solid volley. Don't even take that chance. He's a good enough volleyer to be able to pull that off. It doesn't appear like it will matter. 14-13. Simple backhand. No pressure. Nothing Not really simple now. to do anything with it. No, you're right. It's a big second serve. And taking second out of court. 4-3 for Roddick. 3-4. And that play has scored him tens of points tonight. Taking the midcourt ball on his backhand, going to the backhand of Roddick and moving in. Here's Murad in position here. The ball sits up as well as he's hitting that two-fisted back. And I would just do that once again instead of just slicing the ball, giving Roddick time to hit that pass and line it up. It's not as if he didn't have time to hit it with two hands. And quickly erase the disappointment with serves like that. Both players have done that throughout this match. Late call caused by the lines person needing to duck. He's kept going, Saffin, against the odds. Worthwhile play by Roddick here, taking the second ball, metre and a half inside the baseline, putting the pressure on Saffin. He responded like a champion there. He's still in with a chance now. Four all, fifth set. That's what he wants is some chances at second serves. Just what the doctor ordered for Saffron. Gets Andy Roddick off the court, and in he comes. Well placed for the winner. Oh. Crowd 
made a little bit of noise, perhaps threw Roddick off. It's Love 30. Here's that chance you were talking about, Bruce. Love 30. You can't ask for more than this. Two missed first serves. Roddick looking to rush him now. Stefan holding him up. Not two break points here from basically nowhere. He just sort of teed off this. Well, it was a miss hit. It was a miss hit. Roddick's footwork let him down there. This is unbelievable. He's got a chance to serve this out. Crowd loving it. Sit down and come out and serve for place in the semi final. What a way to start it. He's not done yet. And he takes advantage of the knowledge that Safin always plays his second ball down the center, takes it on the forehand, sets up the second ball. Lot 15, Safin serving for the match. Match is not over, fifteen thirty. And desperate for a first ball. Okay. It's Roddick's turn to rise to the occasion. It's absolutely monstrous forehands in this game. And that forehand hit of 159 Ks. Almost got to concede that one of the break points will be lost with an ace. And erotic to this point is converted 50% of the time. Three out of six. Second ball was going. It was only 126. A kicker. He got around it easily. Maybe the ball didn't come all the way to him and dumped it into the net. Sapman back at Juice. Sapman put some extra spin on that serve to make sure it dropped in the court. It's a nice little gift from Roddick. And that 
put away may put Roddick away because it is match point a great player is on the verge of a great upset on the computer right now he's 86 in the world against number one but he has been to the top himself before For his career and in this match, he wouldn't have given two ball for his chances at the end of the first set. You. I was a believer, but I'm a double believer now. What an amazing effort by Saffin to pull that match out. Phenomenal. So for the second year in a row, J.A., Roddick's been involved in an epic quarterfinal. This time, he is on the losing end. Yes, he is, but uh, he sure has won fans again tonight. Not just with his play, but with his sportsmanship, his demeanour. He's a great champion. He'll be back. But Merit Safin is back after that performance. That was a magnificent effort. A personal triumph. He fought. He tried every inch of the way. He was fully committed. He came here committed. Two trainers. His mum's here. He's on the straight and 